Hey guys, I got an email from somebody recently, um, and actually an Instagram message, which is uh, interesting. I'm getting Instagram messages. It's funny, everybody's got their own particular social network they like to work with. Anyhow, so I'll get to the point of it. Somebody from uh, outside of North America, from Africa specifically, and I'm not going to say their names to keep them anonymous so that if you do ask me questions, I, I will sometimes use them in vlogs, but I will not put out your name. So if, you, if you're worried about that, don't worry about it. And the gist of it, the point of it all was whether or not he could get a job, secure a job in Nigeria, from Nigeria rather, into Canada. And I think this is uh, relevant for everybody, any foreigner, well, foreigner, anybody from outside of North America who wants to come to North America, whether the U.S. or Canada. And I think one of the key things, besides the coding skills, and I can't emphasize this en en enough, I can't emphasize this enough, is that you need good communication skills. Being able to write well and speak well, uh, understand the uh, particular um, cultural issues or cultural differences in Canada, in the U.S. versus where you happen to come from, and being able to speak and communicate clearly is a huge advantage. If you want to maximize your chances of getting a job in another country, you have to understand the local dialect, the local tendencies, if you will. Anyhow, I'm going to read this email in part, and I'm going to answer a few questions. My name is, I'll call him John, Johnny, Johnny from Nigeria, that's what I'll call him, and I'm a graduate in geophysics. Though I have a strong love for programming, I switched career and now am a C-sharp developer for a company which is pretty nice considering the academic background. Such a big demand for developers. If you have a background, an academic background outside of software development, you know, in this case it's geophysics, it doesn't matter because a lot of times developing developers, or developer, uh, developer companies or development companies rather, there we go, development companies, a lot of times they're looking for people with a different background. Uh, domain knowledge is what it's called. Your domain could be geophysics, it could be math, it could be uh, physics, it could be psychology, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Why is this important for companies? It's because if you have experience in different industries, your ability to code and your deep knowledge of this other industry can come in very handy as you learn to develop software. As I was saying to one of my former mentees, who now, who now is a co-founder and CEO of a company that's raised millions of dollars and they're doing well, um, uh, the, uh, the, the domain knowledge, the knowledge outside of programming is very, very valuable. Anyhow, uh, let me go on. He says, I stay here in uh, Africa, but I'm trying to go outside of Africa. I want to see if I can get a job in Canada. Uh, I wants to leave basically Nigeria because he thinks there's going to be more opportunities in Canada and programming. Uh, he's asking me if I have available uh, connections or work possibilities. Well, I work these days pretty much exclusively exclusively with freelancers, but um, I'm pretty much full now. We, I got my little team, and uh, so unfortunately, I, I don't have uh, any jobs for people at this point. Uh, do I know anybody? Again, it's uh, I know people, but it's, it's like it's it's not like I could just call them up. Hey, what's going on? You know what I mean? It's uh, there's a long process, especially when you're looking at development. There's very particular skill sets people are looking for, and that's why there are job uh, people companies that just place people in jobs. They do all that work, all the legwork, all the research that's required. Um, is it even possible to get a job from from Africa? I would imagine so. I, I'm not an expert in uh, immigration, but there's a lot of these, uh, a lot of people travel from all over the world to go to the West because there is a shortage of developers. And that's actually a big political issue in the U.S. in that regard, where big companies like Microsoft, Google, et cetera, pay Facebook, they want to hire people from India and all over the place. I would imagine Africa, too. And uh, they need to get the visas, so it's a big political battle. Anyway, so he, he lists his skills. He loves JavaScript, front end, CMS, WordPress, et cetera, et cetera. And he's got work experience, very important work experience. Work experience is much more important in software development, in software development than, than degrees and cert certification. Work experience is 
huge. Um, so basically, want to know, is it possible to get a job from here? Yes, he summarizes bullet points. That's very important when you send out emails. Yes, it's possible, I would imagine, but I'm not an expert. Uh, do you have any available links, connects, or possible ways you can help? I don't have any uh, contacts in terms of bringing in people internationally. Uh, what I would suggest what you do do is you go to see the local can Canadian uh, embassy or consulate and let them know what you want to do and start working with them, asking questions. It's going to be a hassle because you're dealing with government bureaucracies, which are uh, pretty slow to move any part of the world. And I would also start reaching out to companies in the U.S. and seeing what you could do there, or maybe look at companies who uh, place people, contact them, let them know what's going on. That might be a good way to go as well. What do you think the chances are of getting here in Canada? I think the chances are probably reasonably well because Canada is very open to immigration, especially now. Uh, so I think you have good chances in that regard. And despite the uh, rhetoric, as far as I can understand, the U.S. brings in ton. They bring in a ton of people, especially people with high tech skills. So again, I would also approach the U.S. U.S. consul and see what's going on there. Uh, he his fourth question. His fourth question. I really want to know if C Sharp and JS are the best for getting good work anywhere in a company. Uh, Depends on the company, depends on the company, and depends on what you're looking for, where you want to go. Every I hear about every developed nation and and you know not so developed nations. They each have their uh, areas where certain language is more popular than other. I I was from another YouTube guy. He was telling me that in Germany PHP is huge, and other parts of the world uh, it could be different languages. So you're gonna have to explore that. But the good thing is you know how to program in C sharp. You know the web stack. Whether you know they do in Java, whether they're doing it in Python, whether they're doing it in uh, uh, C sharp, it's you know it would be easy for you to pick up. And that's pretty much it. I think the most important thing I have to say about this uh, message that I got from this guy. John from Nigeria, uh, is that um, he writes well. He writes well, some, some typos, so on, but generally he's very speaking, straightforward to the point, gave me nice bullet point summaries. When you're doing business communication, especially today, you have to learn to write concisely. That means not long, drawn out. Use bullet points, small paragraphs, get to the point right away, and uh, you'll be much more successful than you think otherwise. It's such an important thing that you uh, develop these communication skills as a developer, whether you're trying to get here from Africa or whether you're just trying to get a job. If you can develop good communication skills, that would take you far, far more, more uh, further ahead than if you learn a new framework or you learn a new language. No, communication skills are key as software, in software development. That's it. Ciao.